robots on the strip. I've seen one or two of them roll past town time to time. Well, the face on them looked meaner. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to Westside? Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? Haven't done that in years, but all right, I'm in. None of this means a thing if the rest of the group doesn't show up, though. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. I miss those days sometimes. We all had a purpose, you know? I admit that some of the folks in charge were pretty ruthless. The rest of us, though, we were just trying to civilize things. The NCR was still new, and it didn't look like they'd last all that long. Then we lost the oil rig, and... Shortly after that, the base at Novaro. Nobody left except us remnants. Internal sabotage took down the oil rig. Never did get the full story. The NCR took out Navarro, saying we posed a threat to the region. I was the officer in charge, and Johnson and Moreno were my heavy hitters. Henry handled tech things, and Whitman flew the chopper. Johnson and Moreno never got along, and I had my hands full keeping those two apart some days. It was a difference in philosophy, mostly. Mercy was not part of Moreno's vocabulary. I helped tend the crops, stand watch for fiends, and generally help keep things civilized. A couple of years now. I was a trader for a while, but got tired of all the walking. Westside was a good place to settle down as any. Uh-huh. What's up? Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome in the group. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave, or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a lot together, but my family went through it too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Again you interrupt me. Why? You must have something important in mind. I'm willing to go to this little reunion, but my work here isn't complete. Help me get my research to a stage where I can hand it over to my assistant, Calamity, and then ask me about this again. Promising, but I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... That's... brilliant. Simple yet elegant. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Is there something else I can do for you? I'm intrigued. So I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Oh, you'll need my word from the past phrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. Yes, yes. What's up? Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. 
No one's going to sing Doc Henry's praises when he's gone. But he's probably saved more lives than I ever will. They say those robots on the strip are running around with different faces or something. Don't ask, because I don't know. Glad to see you made it here all right. So, who are we going up against? Then that's the plan. We're going to have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his mind about something, there's no changing it. That Mr. House who lorded over the strip is dead. Good riddance. I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. <sighs> Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. Thanks for doing this, getting them all back together again. I'll be honest, when Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all gonna shake out in the end, but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out of the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're going to need every doctor they can get. Good point. You've been encouraging the others to stand up and fight. Maybe I should take the same advice. After all, I also lived in Navarro. There's something I need to go do, but I'll catch up with you later. Thanks again for your help with the others. It means a lot to me. Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch, but he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk him into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. The training might take several hours, so keep that in mind. That I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. Since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped, you should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly, so let's get started. The NCR is the best bet for the Wasteland. I'm glad we'll be helping them out. I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. Since you convinced me to help out with the defense of Hoover Dam, I figured I'd haul it out of storage. I'm a little rusty with it, but I think I can manage. As long as you got my back, of course. 